Hi everyone, I'm back. And today, today I'm gonna to show you all how to make chicken pot pies. Here's what you will need. You will need pre-made deep dish pie crust. This is a Kroger brand and two come in a package. Now you don't wanna keep this out until you're ready to use this. So I'm gonna put this back into the freezer, okay? You will need chicken. You can boil or bake you some chicken breast. You can use chicken thighs, whatever you choose to use. You can use ham. You could use beef. You could use any meat that you choose to use for your pot pie. You're gonna need one medium size onion that we're gonna chop into dices. You will need potatoes. Make sure you wash and peel your potatoes and we're going to cut those into dices as well. Garlic powder, black peppercorn, sea salt. You will need whipping cream and I have two cans of cream of chicken soup, condensed soup and those are five ounce cans. You will need two cans of cream of mushroom soup and you're going to need frozen mixed vegetables. This frozen mixed vegetable melody has carrots, corn, green beans, and peas. I do not suggest that you use the mixed vegetables that comes in the can, because if you do those, I find that, I believe that if you use the ones in the can, they'll be really mushy. You don't want that. So use the freshest vegetables that you could use. Hey, if you wanted to chop up your own carrots, you can do that. If you wanted to use fresh um, green beans, absolutely you can, okay? But this is my go-to when I make chicken pot pie. The frozen bag, everything comes in it, and it always turns out perfect. No mushy vegetables here. Now, I'm going to set these aside, and the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to start chopping up our onion and our potato, and then I'm going to go in and take this beautiful meat and chop it up. And I'll be back and then I'll show you how to assemble a beautiful chicken pot pie for the weekend. Be back. Okay, everyone. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what I've done. I have a pan here. I've washed my potatoes off. I've peeled and chopped them. And I just put them in this pot with cold salted water. I'm going to boil them for 15 minutes. Okay, and it might be a little less than 15 minutes. When I feel like they're almost fork tender, but not quite, I'll uh, drain them. Okay, so those are cooking on a medium-high heat over there on that side. This pan here has a little bit of vegetable oil in there, just a little tiny bit to coat the pan. Let's go ahead and get our beautiful onions in. And I didn't decide to use as much onions as I showed you. I'm just going to use a little bit because honestly, I don't want a lot of onions in my pot pie. And here's the thing. If you don't want to use onions or you don't like onions, don't put them in your pot pie. Okay. And it won't make a difference. It'll still be tasty. Okay. Trust me when I tell you that. Absolutely. So we have our onions. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of cracked black pepper on our onions. We're going to flavor and season every every part of this dish. Use a little bit of sea salt. And when I say a little bit, just a little is all you need. That's it. Okay? And we're going to get these onions to sauteing up. When I see that they're nice and translucent, and what translucent is, is where your onions start to get a nice clear color. When I see that, we're gonna go ahead and add our beautiful chicken. Now I've pulled the chicken and I've used the chicken breast, okay? So I use both of the breast and a little tiny bit of one of the legs. I feel like this is the perfect amount of meat that you're gonna need for one nice size chicken pot pie because I don't know about you all but when I have pot pie I want to be able to see the meat right and I'm sure a lot of you can agree with me you know we don't want to have a pot pie like the frozen kind that you can buy at the store 
and then you have to search for those three pieces of meat in there, right? No, this, this pot pie that we're making today is going to be overflowing with, uh-oh, my camera's trying to jump in there too. Uh, our pot pie is going to be overflowing with that beautiful chicken breast. Absolutely. So once this gets nice and translucent, we'll put our chicken in. I'll be back, everyone. Okay, everyone, our onions are nice and translucent. So now we're going to go ahead and put our beautiful chicken breast in there, just like this. Remember, we have a little bit of vegetable oil in there, all right? And we're going to heat up our chicken because this chicken is cold. You want to reheat it up, all right? And then we'll season up our chicken. We're going to put some salt, pepper, and garlic powder, just like so. Everything that I make in this kitchen is so easy, a lot of fun, and yet it tastes so good. You hear me? Oh, absolutely. Get you some garlic powder in there. Don't be afraid to season it. Only seasoning you need to worry about is that salt. Get that black pepper on there. Just like so. And then we're going to put a little tiny bit of sea salt. And when I tell you all a tiny bit, it's just a little bit. That's it. That's all you need. And if you don't want to use the salt, you don't have to. Okay? No problem there. We just want to warm through the chicken. Just like this. And if your chicken cubes, if they fall apart, that's just fine. It's okay. No worries there. Now, if you can look over here and our pot of potatoes, they're boiling vigorously. So here in a few minutes, maybe about seven to eight minutes, we'll take these out and drain them, okay? Because they will finish cooking in the oven, okay? But we wanna get them halfway there, all right? So we're giving them a head start because if you just put them in raw, oh, they won't cook, okay? So never put them in raw, always like pre-cook them, okay? This is what you wanna do. Beautiful. Now, if I can just reach over the camera really quick, we're going to go ahead and put our vegetables in. Please don't use the canned vegetables, everybody. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab this other one. Excuse me. Because I like a lot of vegetables. I like to see the vegetables in mine. Okay, I don't want a little bit of vegetables and I don't want a little bit of meat. I want to be able to taste and see all of it. So I'm using a bag and a half and these bags are 12 ounces. So I use just a bag and a half of the vegetables. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this on to a low heat just for now. Okay, get your vegetables mixed in beautifully with your meat. This right here, guys. Oh, you're going to be so happy when you make this recipe. You hear me? I mean, you all are going to be jumping for joy because this is so tasty, so easy. I cannot wait to you all try it. So let's go in with one of our cans of condensed cream of chicken soup. Make sure at this point you have your heat on a low, low heat and get everything, get all that goodness out of that can, okay? You don't want to waste that goodness. Get all out of there. Absolutely. And then let's go in with our second can as well. It's Friday night, guys, and we are having pot pies tonight. We're going to play some cards, get some music going, and we're going to have a family night and enjoy our Friday okay I'm gonna do two more videos tonight if you all haven't seen the Valentine's Day video check it out and let me know what you think we had some really good food that I made okay let's give this a nice stir around okay because then we're gonna also put cream of mushroom in as well Make sure, I can't stress it enough, make sure this is on a low heat, all right? 
Low heat, baby. There we go. Nice and incorporated. Then you're gonna put cream of mushroom. Boy, that came out, look at that. <laughs> Let me wipe my hand off, guys. That cream of mushroom was ready to come out of that can, wasn't it? Okay, come on out, baby. Just like this. Now I have the fourth can in case I need it. Sometimes I use a half of that last can. Sometimes I don't use it. It all depends, okay? Because one thing you don't want is a dry... You don't want a dry pot pie. You want it to be nice and moist, but you don't want it to be watery, okay? So let's start with the two cans of cream of chicken, one can of cream of mushroom, and let's heat it well through, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some of our heavy whipping cream. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you talking rich? You want something that's gonna taste so rich so flavorful put you some heavy whipping cream in there how much gina not too much just be very careful okay start off with a little bit because you all know if you start off with too much you can never take away but if you start off with a little bit you can always add to i love to say that because honestly it's so true okay start off with a little bit and you can keep adding until you're happy with the consistency of your dish okay come on camera work with me there we go and then I'm gonna put just a tad bit of butter in okay just for flavor you don't want to and I'm gonna go in with real butter you don't want to use a lot of butter because we don't want um, a greasy you don't let me reach for a knife guys you don't want for your pot pie to be greasy you just want, this camera keeps trying to, just keeps moving on me. Ha! Okay, and it's okay. <laughs> I see that the camera wants some of this, right? Okay, this is what I'm going to put, just a tablespoon, and that's it. Put that butter in there. This will become nice and velvety, nice and flavorful, not, not buttery at all. It's going to give us a nice flavor. Okay, now let's stir this up. Now it's getting the consistency that we're looking for. You see this? Oh my word. <laughs> Ooh, see, this is what makes me happy. This it was, is what gets me excited. You can do this with turkey meat. Hey, you can do this with beef. Any meat that you want to use. Hey, you could use lamb if you wanted to. It'll be good. You hear me? All you got to do is follow these directions. It'll turn out the same way, just as flavorful. Okay, now this is getting nice and heated through. I'm going to take a peek at my potatoes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a fork in to see if any of these potatoes are fork tender. So let me just see. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'm going to turn these potatoes off. Okay. Come back down onto here. I'm going to drain the potatoes and then we'll put our potatoes in. Okay. Let me push the video on pause for a second. Okay, everyone. I have taken my potatoes. And I've drained them from the water. See this? You gotta have those potatoes in your pot pie. It wouldn't be pot pie if you didn't have those little pieces of potato in there, right? I grew up on pot pies and I absolutely loved them. My nine-year-old, he loves pot pies. Yes, he does. So he's really gonna enjoy this. He doesn't know what I'm in here making, but he is gonna lose his mind when he sees that we're having one huge pot pie today. Look at this. This is exactly what you're wanting. Let's give this a taste, okay? And we're tasting it 
to see if we have that flavor that we're looking for. You're looking to taste the garlic, the black pepper, the sea salt, the flavor of the um, condensed chicken and the cream of mushroom. If you're someone that doesn't like cream of mushroom or cream of chicken, you're more than welcome to use cream of celery. Absolutely you can, okay? Now let's give this a try. Look at this, guys. Taste that. My goodness, taste that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Man, oh man, that's it. Mm, mm, mm. wee. All right, I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper, and we are set. This thing is good. Do you hear me? Man, is it good. All right, let's turn it around. Remember, your potatoes are just about cooked. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to let this cool down. I need to put just a tad bit more of whipping cream. Just a tad bit. That's it. Don't get carried away with it, guys. Remember, start off with a little bit. You can always add two. Beautiful. See, that's what I'm looking for. We're going to let this cool down, and then we're going to put this into our beautiful pie crust, okay? And then I'll show you what to do next. But we need to let this cool down for a minute. Be back, everybody. Okay, everybody, let's get our pot pie put into this beautiful pie crust, and let's get it baked. Make sure to turn your oven on 350 degrees, and this is going to cook for maybe about 40 minutes, however long it takes to cook this one. I'll let you know after we take the pot pie out of the oven. Okay? So, right here, I have two egg yolks. I've taken the, I've separated the egg whites. We're not going to use the egg white, but I put just a little bit of water in here, and that's going to be our, um, we're going to gloss our pie shell with this, and it's going to make it nice and glossy, okay? I don't use the egg whites because what the egg whites will actually do is they'll clump up on the top of your pie shell, and we don't want that. So you take the egg whites out, use two egg yolks and a little bit of water, and you're going to have a nice golden brown glossy top to your pot pie. Look at this, guys. Okay, so we've taken it straight out of the freezer, and we've cool cooled our pot pie filling down some. You don't want to put it in here steaming hot, okay? Because you'll make your bottom crust soggy, and we don't want that. So you cooled it down, and then we'll let it all heat up together, okay? And that'll help keep your bottom crust nice and crispy. Absolutely it will, okay? Look at this. Look at those big, nice chunks of potato. My goodness. And you want to fill it all the way to the top, okay? You don't want to overflow it. Don't get crazy, guys. <laughs> but you know, put it up to the top. And then we're going to put pie crust on the top. If you want it to, there's a roll-out pie crust that you can buy pre-made. And you just roll it out and lay it on top. I just use this one. And I'll show you how to do it. It's going to look like it's messed up when you first put it on there, but it's not. It's good, and it's going to be golden and delicious. You hear me? Hoo-wee! Oh, yeah. My goodness, look at this. That's what you're wanting. Look at that, baby. Look at this. My word. And where, where would my parsley be if I'm looking for you? There you are. I'm even going to put parsley in the inside of here. Even though we can't see it, I just need to know it's in there. You all that know me, you know I love parsley. Absolutely I do. It makes everything so beautiful. My goodness. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to take your pie crust. And these two pie crusts, guys, seriously, they only cost me $1.99. Okay, see how I'm turning it upside down, and I'm just peeling the silver part off, okay? And it'll come flopping out on you. It'll flop out. Just be patient. 
When you have patience in the kitchen, oh, you're going to have some good food. Patience is the key to good cooking. You hear me? You want some good food, be patient. I put my heart, my foot, my soul, and everything that I have in my cooking. I love to feed someone and hear them say, mmm, oh my goodness, this is so good. Like, I live for that. <laughs> I do. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Let me scoop my camera back so you can get a good view of what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this on here, just like so. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of tug at it a little bit, and it'll come right off, just like that. Okay, so then, you take this bad boy. Come on and work with me, baby. Work with me, baby. And then you just kind of go in. And if it tears, guess what? It's okay. Ain't nothing going to happen if it tears. We can fix it. All you do is smooth it out where it tore. Okay? Well, let me show you something that I like to do. See how that's torn? A little piece there. It's okay. No worries in this kitchen. Hey, we don't worry in this kitchen. No, we don't. We know that God will handle whatever situation that comes about, and it's going to be okay. <laughs> Absolutely. That's how, I, that's how I treat life, guys. Absolutely. Anything that arise, we know that God will handle. So here's what I'm doing. Look at this. Just smash that bad boy down. Don't smash it too much. You, you guys know. You know what I'm talking about. Okay? Now, I'm going to grab a fork. See this? Look how simple. I don't have a problem with using anything pre-made. Pre-made is my friend. It is, especially when you have kids and you have a family and a husband and different things to run and different things to do. Absolutely, pre-made is my friend. And I tell you one thing, it's going to be just as good as homemade. You hear me? Here's the thing. Trust me when I tell you this. This can stand up to the best of them. Woo! And it will. Yes, it will. So now what I'm doing, I'm grabbing fork okay I'm just gonna go in this way just to be assured that my pie crust is nice and sealed okay you're not trying to make a design but it doesn't hurt okay it makes it nice and pretty all right like I said we're not trying to make a design we're just trying to seal it and this is gonna do the trick and give you a little bit of pretty pizzazz also see that no problem here. Oh, my goodness. And so easy. Get the kids in to shred that meat for you. They can throw the vegetables in. They can open up the cream of chicken and cream of mushroom for you. Absolutely. Look at this. My word. I whisper when I get excited. <laughs> I whisper when I get excited. Look at this. My goodness. Oh, yeah. And the taste of this was amazing. I wish you all could taste this right now. Whew, I wish you could. If I had smell-o-vision, I would highly suggest that you all turn this on right now because when this gets in the oven, we're going to have a smell out of this world. Okay? I'm just bringing that in just a little bit more. Just to make it nice and pretty and even. Okay? See that? Oh, yeah. Now, <clears throat> go in with your egg wash. I don't have a brush, but I got a spoon. <laughs> right? I got a spoon. It'll do the trick. Yes, it will. Get that egg wash on there. Just a little bit of nice cold water mixed with your eggs. Egg yolk only. You can use the egg whites, okay? It's really up to you, but I don't suggest it, okay? Let's see, I might just go in with my finger. There we go, that's a little easier for me. My hands are impeccably clean because you want to get that egg nice, nice and all over. You want to have a nice, beautiful golden brown crust. It's going to be nice and crispy. Woo-wee! 
Boy, I'm making myself excited. Mm, mm, mm. I know you guys' mouth has to be watering because my mouth is watering right now. You hear me? Boy, oh boy. And I'm going to put a slit on the top so we can have a vent for heat to escape. Okay? If you don't, sometimes your pie... Uh oh If we don't, sometimes your pie crust will kind of, you know, like explode on the sides or something. Okay? So you want to give it some room to breathe. All right? Look at this. Nice and beautiful. I'm just going to do, do it all over again. Just make sure I have that egg yolk all the way down in these beautiful crevices. And then this goes in the oven on 350 degrees. Look at this. My goodness. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. So now, let me show you a close-up. We're going to get this in the oven. After about 40 minutes, we'll check on it. And then I'll let you know how long it took to cook. I'll be back, everyone. Okay, everyone, I did want to show you a, a cross that I put on there just for the ventilation. Okay, everybody, let's take a peek in the oven. It's been 35 minutes. It's not quite done, but I still want you all to see what it looks like after 30, 35 minutes. Look at this. Look at that nice golden brown, nice and flaky crust that we all are looking for. Let's let it cook a little bit longer, then we'll take it out. And I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. Okay, everyone. Look at this. It has been 50 minutes. And I know in the beginning, I told you all I was going to cook this on 350. When I put it in the oven, what I decided to do was cook it on 325 degrees, okay? So we put this in the oven, 325 degrees for 50 minutes. Would you all just look at this? Would you all just take a look at this? This right here, ooh, it's burning up hot. This right here is what Gina Young's homemade pot pie looks like. In the inside is so nice and bubbly and well seasoned. You got that oven roasted chicken that's going throughout. That heavy whipping cream. You got those beautiful fresh vegetables. My goodness, those potatoes, that garlic powder, sea salt and crushed black pepper. You got a little bit of butter for flavor in there. And then you got this beautiful crust on the bottom and on the top egg washed and cooked for 50 minutes. Now, here's the thing. Here's what we need to do. I want to let this cool down, not too much, but I don't want to cut into it right now and everything goes black. Do you understand? Okay, so I'm gonna give it at least 10 minutes to cool down. And then I'll come back and we'll give this a try. Be back. Okay, everybody, our pot pie has cold, cooled down for maybe about seven to 10 minutes. Yeah, that's nice and cool. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. And make sure you put those slits in there. It really helps. It really helps. Okay, let's go ahead and cut down in here. I'm just gonna use a spatula, okay? And make sure you cut that bottom crust too because you want that bottom crust to come up with it, okay? Look at this. Guys, we are having chicken pot pies at the Young's house, and I wish you all were here. I wish you all were here so you could taste this. My goodness. Whew, I'm gonna give you all a taste tonight. Oh my goodness, and this crust, this crust is beautiful. This is making me want to make a cherry pie with cream cheese filling in there. Come on out of there for me, baby. Come on out. Give me that bottom crust, too. Oh, yeah. Look at this. My word. Would you look at this? Can, can, can you guys see what I can see? Look at this. Look at that beautiful flakiness right there. My goodness. And I got that bottom crust on there. Okay, let's take it off of your spatula ever so gently. Okay. Oh, <laughs> make you want to cry. It does. Oh, 
And this goodness right here, I want all that too. Give me all of that goodness. You hear me? Give me all of that. Don't cheat me from any of it. Oh, oh, oh. Here's the thing. I'm going to take this camera off of this tripod and show you all the inside of here. Let's see if I can get a good picture. Let's see. Oh, it's too hot for me to pick up. But let's take a peek down this way. Look at this. Look how flaky, guys. This right here is Pot Pie 101. Hey, if you never had one before, you better make you one. They're going to ask you, you trust me when I tell you this. They're going to ask you, where the heck did you get that gorgeous recipe from? Hey, be sure to tell them. Gina Young, look at this. Gina Young showed me how to make it. Look at the Taste that, guys. Taste that right there. My goodness. Hoo-wee! One more look down in here. Oh, boy. This is a chicken pot pie for sure. God bless this meal. Thank you, Lord, for feeding me and my family today. Thank you for all your blessings, loving us and taking care of us. Please send your angels down to surround us day and night. Send your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions and give us peace over our mind. We pray that no weapons formed against the young family shall prosper. We bind the devil. We bind all evil, harm, danger, hurt, illness, sickness, death, danger, and pain away from my family. Lord, we thank you for what you do today. And we thank you for every day. We thank you for helping us through hard times, Lord. We thank you for the roof over our head and the food that you feed us. Lord, we love you so much. Lord, I thank you for blessing my YouTube channel. Once again, we say amen. Look at this. Look at this. Let's dive in. All right, I got to set my camera back up on the tripod. And you all, of course, of course I'm going to let you all taste this. You better believe I am. Okay, let's go in. I'm going to give you guys some of this beautiful flaky crust. There's a big piece of chicken right there. Oh, 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 oh. Let me get you a green bean here. <clears throat> Try that right there. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this pot pie. Hoo-wee. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh. Best pot pie in town. Mm, mm, mm. If you're looking for a good pot pie recipe, this is the one. This is the one that's going to turn heads. Woo! You're going to have them coming back begging for more. They will, trust me. Hey, trust me, I know. Taste that. My goodness, taste that. Woo! Mmm, 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 mm. Oh, why do you taste so good? Mmm. Mmm, 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 Oh. Oh, why do you taste so good? Ooh. Mmm, look at that flaky beautifulness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And the crust. The crust is magnificent. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this huge. Mm. Look at this huge piece of meat right here. You see that? That's what I want in my pot pie. Not three little tiny pieces of meat you have to run and search for i got meat all throughout this pot pie mm. and these fresh vegetables are nice and crispy no mushy vegetables in this ah oh, this is so flavorful man that makes you want to cry because it's so good mm, mm, mm. if someone was in here i would literally slap them 
Oh, it's so good. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you all enjoyed this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Look at this, guys. My goodness, taste that. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. And be sure to cool your mixture down before you put it in that crust at the bottom. And your crust at the bottom will be just as crispy, just as beautiful. Just like this one. Look at that big potato in here, guys. My goodness, this is so delectable. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to eat this whole thing. My goodness, this is so good. Oh, and the crust is so good. <laughs> Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you don't know good cooking until you taste this. My word. Look at that beautiful flakiness. Taste it. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh. Why do you taste so good? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Why does my heartache feel lonely? This Popeye. Oh, this Popeye is so good. No. Mm. Make you one, guys. I got to put this video on pause so I can finish this. This is so good. I love each and every one of you. Have a great weekend. Thank you all for watching. Good night.